Hello friends and welcome to episode 14 of Story Teleplay's Fantasy Life for the 3DS. I said I wasn't going to record anything else, but... Uh, Cacto Cove is still closed. Yep, goes to Cacto Cove. I can't take it right now, though. Yeah, I gotta focus on butterfly quests. So I don't know when that opens, but it's pretty late game. Unfortunately, I need to get in there. So let's just do some butterfly quests. Let us start with the library. Wow, this library is huge. Who is making that racket? This is a library. Ah, oh, Lady Demona. No, oh, I should have known it was you too. My apologies, I couldn't help but be impressed by your library. It makes the one in Castell look tiny. Of course you couldn't. We have the greatest collection of books and scrolls in Reveria here. Almagic is a paradise for any scholar. You insult us by even comparing it to Castell. Er, sorry, sheesh. Last time I'm ever giving you her a compliment. The knowledge of countless generations is uh, housed here in Almagic. This is the knowledge that will be necessary for Damien's maturation as the Dark Sultan. So you're going to give Damien his training? I thought that was the job of the former Sultan. <laughs> My good-for-nothing husband just floats around all day with no interest in Damien's training. He thinks we should let Damien run around as he pleases such nonsense. But you can't have him study all the time, either. Uh, he'll get exhausted and burnt out. Besides, everyone here in al already respects him. How much more training does he really need? You have the impatience. Uh, you're an impertinent little butterfly, sticking that proboscis of yours, proboscis in yours, uh, of yours into places, other people's business. See, this is why I wasn't going to record, but I have to make progress. Er, oh, sheesh, sorry. Uh, I understand Damien is kind, strong boy, with good intentions. However, one cannot possibly rule a nation with kindness and impressiveness alone. My duty is to raise Damien as a wise and just ruler. At times, he will have to contradict popular opinion. I will do anything in my power to train my son for that role, even if he grows to despise me for it. That's had a bit crazy, Lady Demona, but your wish has been heard. I think I just heard someone's greatest desire. Lady Demona, whether you like it or not, your wish has been heard. Hmm? What was that arrogant sparkling you just did? What are you two doing back in Almagique anyway? You received what you sought. You're up to something, I can sense it. We're not up to anything, I just wanted to find out more about the history of Reveria. That sounds suspicious. Like a laudable pursuit. Er, suspiciously like a laudable pursuit. If that is your true intention, I applaud you. There is much you two could learn in this library. And seeing as you are, by some miracle, Damien's for for ahem. Seeing as you've become Damien's acquaintances, you should continue to educate yourselves. The people of Almagic certainly seem to have trouble saying the word friend. If there is a particular book you are looking for, let me know. Perhaps I shall help you find it. And take this. I found it in the desert with a sign that said free on it. Ooh, Dark Sultan lamp. Thank you very much. This will be useful if we're reading at night. Volume. Library voice. Shush. Sorry, er, I mean, I'm sorry. I heard the Almagique Library is much bigger than the library in Castel. Let's check it out. You can carry the books for me. No. Also, don't be mean to the library. That's my place of work. Real quick, let me check out the second floor. Nope, doesn't work. There's a shop in there, but I have to progress the story a bit. Next stop, Eldrin. Ah, oh, Satu, good to see you. Hello. You both seem well. I trust you, uh... I trust your return to, to Castell was without incident. It was, thank you, Eldred. You seem to be in a better spirit than when we last saw you. Were you able to drop the Dark Mage title you, uh, like you were hoping? Ah, yes, I must apologize for my shameless display of self-pitying earlier. I am rather ashamed of the somewhat melodramatic performance you were witness to. Not at all! I actually thought it was a very impressive performance. Your chanting voice is lovely. 
Poor Magnificus was terrified when we told him you were the Dark Mage Eldred. He said something about being frightened by the terrible power uh, of your dirty shorts. Well, that is very kind of him to think so, but the truth is, my greatest duty here is dog walking. Well, I would never have guessed that, but the world needs a Dark Mage dog walker, I suppose. I have asked you two here to see if you would like to purchase a magical retreat here in Almagique. Oh yeah, I didn't read that letter. Whoops. Ooh, a magical retreat? I will be buying this house as well if I can afford it. I need to actually make some money, which I suppose I can do when I'm done recording. Indeed, a sort of home away from home, if you will. This house here is currently available. I love it. Thanks, er Eldred. Well, I meant that you may purchase this home here. Oh, ha, sorry. It seems Lord Damien's ra uh, Damien rather enjoyed spending time with you two. And since there was no way of knowing when you would visit next, I thought perhaps we could make it easy for you to return whenever you wanted by offering you a home. Plus, I was looking to downsize my real estate holdings. You, uh, we could kill two cactos with one stone, except I can't get to Cacto Cove. What do you say? Oh, well that's very kind of you, Eldred, thank you. The preliminary paperwork has already been done. If you wish to buy this place, you need only pay the purchase price, and it's all yours. It's a bit pricey, but I think you'll find it well worth the dosh. The benefits of uh, benefits it carries exceeding... Yeah. Expediting your travels is quite significant. You mean we could return to Almagique in an instant just by opening our map? Ah, so you know how it works already. Well, you are indeed correct. I am sure Lord Damien would be most pleased if you had your own property here. Offering you the opportunity to purchase this luxury house is the least we can do to repay you. Yeah, literally. Could just give it to us. What was that? I'm losing hearing in this ear. Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Well, if you decide to purchase, simply talk to the estate agent over there. Yes. Almost like you didn't have to pan the camera at all. She's in frame. Ah, uh, yes. I would also like to give you this gift from... Uh, this is a gift from all of Lord Damien's retainers. It's a portrait of Damien. It would look nice on a wall of your new Almagique home, if I must say so. The wink. No pressure, though, really. A wink. It has been lovely speaking with you again. I hope to see you again soon. A wink. I don't know what that last one was about. Sorry. Did you check your mail? I didn't, actually. I think you got a letter from Eldred. I wonder what he wants for us for. Good thing I could go through all that without having actually checked my mail, because I didn't want to go back. Yep. I'll take it. How much is this one? A hundred thousand. I can buy it, but I'm going to need to grind some dosh. Yep. I now live here. Let me check the butterfly requests, see where I still have to go. Friends with the Sultan. I need to go talk to Damien. On your friendship. Uh, Sir Odin is somewhere around here. Easy come, easy go. Talk to Magnificus. And go into the sanctuary. I. What's up, Odin? I'm not gonna do your voice because I'm tired. It's already 7 a.m. after all. Hello again, Odin. Yes, hello. We'll just do a different voice. That's it, just yes, hello. Odin, I wanted to bring this up again, because I feel like we didn't get to finish our conversation earlier. I exist to serve, Butterfly. Yes, that's very that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about. Don't you ever want something for yourself? I have no desires of my own. I must be able to protect Lord Damien, the Dark Sultan, from anything that poses a threat. That is my one and only duty. That's a pretty lame wish. Well, I guess that's about as far as we're gonna get going uh, going down that path. Your wish, if we can call it that, has been heard. Shiny. You're really committed to this whole strong and silent type thing, aren't you? It is part of my duty to protect the Dark Sultan. What does being silent have to do with your service to Damien? I am both Lord Damien's sword and shield, even if he needs strike against a friend or family. I must bring my blade down upon anyone who threatens the Dark Sultan. Therefore, I must listen to every word, every nuance of tone, and search for intent behind speech. 
By speaking, one prohibits one's ability to listen. Wow, I never thought about it like that. I guess I prohibit my ability to listen quite a lot, eh? Nobody here is judging you. You and Satu here should get along great. They say, uh... They say next to nothing. Are you in the service of protecting someone that is important to you as well? See? It's tough to get anything out of them. You could have gotten more out of the former sultan when he was a statue. When he was a statue, heh. Har 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 har, I get it. You two are a funny pair. I understand why the Dark Sultan enjoys your company. See, you don't have to be so alert when you're with us. You can loosen up a bit. There is no way Satu would ever harm Damien. I do believe that to be true. The Dark Sultan has expressed a fondness for the two of you that I have never before seen from him. As long as this is true, you will also fall under my protection as an extension of the Dark Sultan. For someone who doesn't talk much, you can speak rather elegantly at times, Odin. I have a lot of time to formulate how I might speak. I don't. I have considered how to express that I would like to extend my honor, protection, and friendship to you. You can now invite Odin to your party. It's nice to have a tank, but I like to have an oops all mages sort of thing going on. I'm quite confident in my abilities to kick some butt if you ever require such a service. Please do not hesitate to call on me. I would very much enjoy sharing your company. I would like to speak with Odin, er, uh, speak more with Sir Odin. He's silent and looks quite frightening, but if you actually talk to him, I'm sure he's a nice person. Wild that Butterfly didn't bring up her weird crush. Oh cool, Magnific Mag Magnificus is just on the way. Saves me a lot of trouble. Would be nice if I could read, but here we are. Magnificus? Don't hurt me! Oh, it's just you two. What are you looking at? Well, I'm glad you asked. I am currently fortifying my loins as I prepare to take on the Dark Sultan himself. Let's all go together, yeah! That kind of fell flat. We'll pass on the whole fortifying your loins thing. Magnificus, when are you going to just drop this whole thing? The Dark Sultan is a good person. A uh, good person? Oh no, say not that you have fallen foul to his powerful magic, or dark magic. I had hoped it would not come to this. I shall have no choice but to stop my former allies in their tracks. Oh really? You make the first move. <laughs> Once you took that battle stance, I saw I was... I saw quite the jest in my previous remarks. We may not get... Uh, we must not get carried away. I wouldn't want to hurt you before we undertake our task. That is, of course, there is, of course, no way the Great Magnificus would cross swords with his allies. But didn't you just say we were your former allies? Can't you take a joke, even a bad one? <laughs> Phew! If I had a collar, I'd tug it right now. Just, uh, put that weapon away, please. We're all friends here, right? Mm, thank you. For the last time, uh, if you know what's good for you, just leave Damien alone. But, but how can I? It is a hero's color calling to defeat the fearsome Dark Sultan, isn't it? But there is no fearsome Dark Sultan. I see. Then it appears I am rather at a loss. For what is a hero without a fearsome foe to bring to justice? This Dark Sultan, Damien, was it? Surely he can't be all good. He must have a darker side, right? Perhaps he is unkind to animals? He has a dog he loves very much. And perhaps he is cruel to his subordinates. Those who serve him respect him deeply. Uh, curses in front of his parents? Not that I've seen. I bet this Dark Sultan has no reservations about drinking milk straight from the container. You might have him on that one. Well, there you have it. I, the Great Magnificus, know uh, that it is rude and unhygienic to put my lips to a container's mouth. This inconsiderate Dark Sultan is the root of all evil, a root that shall be severed by my blade. Magnificus, you are an idiot. Uh, so, it looks like that's as far as your desires go. I don't have to like it, Magnificus, but I'll tell you that your wish has been heard. Did you see that light? It must have been a sign. A sign that my quest has been blessed from the heavens. Yeah, I doubt it. So I suppose you'll be going after Damien by yourself, eh? 
Oh, well, a hero mustn't... uh, A hero must never be hasty. He must wait for the right moment to strike. I was thinking about making a trip to Kekto Cove before talking to the Sultan, actually. There's a ferry on the edges of town that goes there. I've uh, heard it is home to some strange monsters, the likes of which are not found on the mainland. Please tell me this is how I get in there. We should investigate it together. You can now invite Magnificus to your party whenever you like. That sounds great. Do you want to go now? Now? Oh well, perhaps I need some more time to think on my next move. I'll just cower over here a bit. I wonder how Magnificus is doing, now that we know the Dark Sultan is actually a good guy. Maybe we should try to find him a new foe to challenge. The road to Cacto Cove is now open, hell yeah! I could and should just stop recording now, but there's only two left, so... I'll do those. Might as well talk to this guy first. Howdy there, former Dark Sultan. How's it feel to be a former Sultan? Huh, it appears my secret oasis for meditation is now anything but... Oh, sorry, should we go? I'm just joking. Of course you two are welcome here anytime. It is thanks to you I am free. In fact, I wish to give you a little something in uh, return for your efforts here. Take these. Woohoo, enchanted wall and flooring. Or it's a cursed floor, I suppose. But I have a house here now, so those are going in it. I trust our young baby King Eric was absolutely delighted to hear of my return. Well, yeah, I wouldn't say he was too thrilled. Good, that'll put him on his toes. Let him be anxious for a bit, wondering what my next move will be. Isn't it about time he stepped down by now anyway? No, no, he's quite active as a ruler. He is just a young boy after all. a uh, young boy now after all. Ah, alas, it seems it would have been better transforming him into an older king rather than a younger one. But... If you were too old, you wouldn't be able to have any more fun with him. Good point. Any idea what your next move might be? And sadly, I believe our little exchange of pranks may uh, have to be put on hold. Don't tell King Eric. Demona is insistent I start behaving. Her lectures are more terrifying than the prospect of being trapped inside a statue again. Ha! So even someone as powerful as you is terrified of something. Of course, everybody has something they're terrified of, or afraid of. I take it you met Ahab in Port Puerto. Did you? Did he happen to grace you with his pirate accent? I can tell you, it is truly atrocious. Even a gigantic, uh, yeah, gigantic gigante would flee in terror. I think he believes that his butchering of the dialect is some sort of, uh, yeah, some sort of high point for his banquets. So that's where Andy Gret gets it from. And King Eric carries quite a fearsome mate nature with him. Well. At least he did when he was taller. Heh <laughs> He's the only person in all of Averia strong enough to trap me within that statue. Yeah, I doubt that. But the one I am most afraid of, well, it's no secret that we had... That would have to be to bear. Yes. What bear? The bear. It lives in the Elderwood. An enormous, vicious beast like no other. Shudder. The bear is so powerful that it is completely impervious to magic. Even if I throw everything I have at it, it just stands there and yawns at me. That sounds like a fascinating bear. Maybe we can meet it someday. Careful what you wish for, butterfly. I sense your destiny will take you to the other kingdoms in Reveria. I wish you luck in your adventures. Do try to save the world. You seem to be taking this whole thing rather lightly. What will be, uh, what will be, will be, no? I know I know where you come from, Butterfly. Very few have ever visited that land, although many have. Actually, perhaps I'll let you revel that secret when you are ready. Or, I'll let you reveal that secret when you're ready. And keep me updated on your journey. Yes. The Great Shadow, blah, 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 blah. I should have just stopped recording when I unlocked Kecto Cove. Powerful magic seal won't let me in there. Yo, what's up, Damien? Where's he at? Damien, is this a bad time? Why is the throne room so long? Of course not. Welcome back to both of you. Butterfly and Satu. How is the new Dark Sultan? All is well, in large part, thanks to your efforts. 
I am glad you've returned. I would like to enlist your help in my new endeavor. I have decided I shall take over the world. Take it over where? Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, I just wanted to see what it felt like to say that. I do have new plans for ruling the world, though. It's a uh, pretty ambitious, to say the least. What do you mean? I wish to make a world where there is no war. I would like to rule the world by helping its leaders come together so that we may all be united as one. That's the kind of world domination I want. A world dominated by peace and unity. Um, you had me worried there. I thought you were talking about going to war with Castel. Thankfully, the world is currently at peace, with no wars to speak of. We have only the great danger that currently threatens all of Arveria equally. I believe it is the perfect opportunity for our kingdoms to join together as one. As the Dark Sultan of Al-Majik, I volunteer my services to preserve this world, uh, the peace of the future, for the future. Yes. That is a great wish. Your wish has been heard. I must speak with all the heroes my father and, uh, and I sent running away from Al-Majik in abject fear. I think I can smooth things over if I talk with them face to face. Hopefully I can get Magnificus to stop trembling long enough to talk to him. Good luck with that. I ran into him earlier. He shouted, Be gone, villainy. And then I just ran off the other way. And then he just ran off the other way. So I never got to officially congratulate you on passing your trial. Now we can all travel together, right? Uh, you, us, and maybe Odin too? Yes. I'm afraid I have no time for recreation. I have only just ascended to the throne, and I must attend to several issues to bring this uh, plan to fruition. However, I sense this business will necessita uh, necessitate a great deal of participation on your part. And then we'll go adventuring, you have my word. We'll take that. Sounds good, Satu? You two are two friends indeed. The word itself still seems very foreign upon my lips. Thank you for bringing the meaning of friendship to my realm and my family. You know what they say, friendship is magic. Satu, I'd like to give this to you. You obtained Damien's cape. I can't wear this because you can't wear capes and glasses for some reason. What a great cloak. Is that the same one as the, uh, is that the same as the, uh, yeah. Is it the same as the one you are wearing? I was reading that correctly. I'm just tired and stupid. Yeah, actually it is. I hope that's okay. I thought it would suit you well. Try it on, Satu, I want to see. Wear it in good spirits and good health, my friend. I think we should go see Damien. We don't need a specific reason to go see our friends. Let's go. Became friends with Damien, but I can't invite him with me whenever I want. A shame. I can't invite his dog with me either. You know what? This video is going to be very short. I'm just going to stop recording this as a part one, and then I suppose do the rest of the story later. I just needed to unlock Cacto Cove. Satu, do you have a sec to chat? You must save before continuing with the story. Save your progress? Yes. Good choice. I can't believe Magnificus still wants to fight Damien. Talk about obstinate. I bet Magnificus talks more in one hour than Odin does in a whole year. Oh, sorry. Once I get going, I guess it's kind of hard to stop sometimes. Hey, I was just thinking, wouldn't it be cool if we found a huge talking bear, like a huge one? It would. It's almost like every time you bring up something cool, it ends up happening. Now, I've already got 20 minutes of recorded footage, so I need to remember that while recording this part too. Oh, Father, I've been thinking a lot lately about where wishes come from. If a wish comes from the heart, I mean, if the heart is where we keep our wishes. This is hard to say, but if every heart holds a secret wish, and Satu's Noelia's, even yours, Father. What is inside the hearts that beat in Reveria, the hearts of wild creatures, the hearts of monsters? Do their hearts hold wishes too? I don't know, but they probably wouldn't be enough to save the world. I have never seen such a superhuman effort in my entire history of mail delivery. He has performed miraculously on every single delivery on his route thus far, and still, he somehow has the energy for this one last letter from the king to... Hey, watch it. Out of my way. Wait for me, Pierre. Wait for me. 
Ahem, now where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Here he stands, exhausted, spent, and about to set a new record for letter de letters delivered. The crowd is drenched in tension. Amazing. For those of you at home, I wish you could be here. I'm gonna tell my kids about this one. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I set up my furniture in a weird way. I suppose it still tries to spawn me in the middle of the room, which is in front of my trophy. Letter from the King 5. Dear Satu, we've discovered something incredible. Hurry to the royal court so I can show you. King Eric of Castel. I might as well check these. I can now fly to Almagique, which is not useful to me because I can just teleport there. Blah, 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 blah. Letter from Eldred. Yep, he's going to sell us a house, but I already bought it. Which is why I can teleport there for free. Seriously, I think we should just ask the king to move us into the royal court. It sounds like something big is going on. Let's make King Eric wait for a bit. I mean, we're not at his beck and call, right? We've already got the goddess treasures. Maybe he's figured out something important. Okay, that's enough. To Castel. The Tale of Lunaris. Chapter 5. There are only chapter er, there are only seven chapters, and then there's also the DLC, so we're making good progress. I think after I finish the story, before I even start the DLC, I'll start working on mastering all of my classes. Not mastering, but becoming legend. Which is the highest rank you can achieve in any job before starting the DLC. At which point you unlock demigod and god respectively. Although in the US version, which I'm playing, they call them Demi-Creator and Creator. There you are, Satu. What took you so long? Laura, please. I'm sure they weren't just standing around simply for the sake of making us wait. <laughs> well, it sure felt like it. Laura, let us get down to business. You can play the petulant princess later if you must. Wow. Seems like everyone here woke up on the wrong side of the bed, eh? Yes, perhaps. Please forgive our manners. Thank you for coming. Butterfly? And you as well, Satu. We do have a piece of urgent business to deal with regarding the goddess treasures. Surprise! We could really take a pass on this sarcasm this morning, Butterfly. Hughes here has been tire tirelessly researching not only the items you procured, procured, why can't I read, but also their history. Correct. And it appears that Hughes has discovered something of great importance. Correct. I believe Hughes will soon share with us his findings. Oh, come on. Well, I shall try to ignore Butterfly's dramatics and get right to the point. That's what I've been trying to get you to do this whole time, but you seem intent on drawing this out with... There is a fourth goddess treasure. That was an epic finger point, Hughes. Thank you. I felt the moment warranted such a point. Now, if I may... According to legend, the goddess entrusted a treasure to each land in Reveria. In other words, no ca uh, in other words, to Castle, Castel, my apologies, Port Puerto al Magique, this we already know. But what we didn't account for is that a treasure went to a fourth land. But there isn't a fourth land in Reveria, Hughes. Not true, princess. We have overlooked this fourth kingdom because its ruler is not human. You mean like a spirit? Exactly. I speak of the governor of all wild beasts, the great spirit, often thought to uh, be all but a myth. Hughes and I are both of the opinion that a fourth land and final goddess treasure is still out there. Somewhere in the land ruled by the great spirit. My loyal subjects, you must know what I ask you of you. You want us to go and get it? Indeed, bring us that final treasure so that we may save Reveria. So, how do we get to this mythical place? That's a good question, Hughes. Ellipsis. Well, we hadn't really gotten that far, Your Grace. Wait, so you didn't even know where this place is? The stage is set for a grand adventure, steeped in mystery, is it not? I know where the Great Spirit resides. What? Ophelia, why did you not say something? First of all, you never asked me, but I can tell you how to reach, uh, Danuta, the Great Spirit. Well then, you must tell us immediately, my dear. Where is this land? Ellipsis. Why didn't the Queen speak up earlier? Ophelia, um, where is the land of the Great Spirit? Come now, it's, uh, kind of important here. I don't know if I should say. 
The place is considered out of bounds for humans. It is a forbidden forest. What makes it forbidden? That is how they desire it. That is how they have always desired it to be since time immemorial. Immemorial. Yes, but darling, if the world ends, you know, they'll be going down with the rest of us, so... We've come too far to stop now, Queen Ophelia. We already have three of the treasures. If you know something, in the name of science and for the good of Reveria, I beg you, please speak. Elepsis. I must think about it first. Mother, I hope she'll be all right. This doesn't surprise me. The Queen has a gift for communicating with spirits. Does she really? I didn't know that. Why isn't she a mage then? Why would you? Communicating with the spirits runs in her bloodlines. Laura's power to communicate with beasts, such as the Nap Dragon, is also derived from this gift. Based on what Queen Ophelia said, we know we are seeking a wooded area. She said it is their desire to keep it secret. So the question is, who are they? Probably the spirits he use. Keep up. They could mean many people. I once knew a carpenter named They Tumblebum, but I don't think he... Your Majesty. No interruptions. Can't you see we're talking about important tumblebums? But Your Majesty, another doomstone has fallen in the Elderwood. Yes, another doomstone, fine. But Your Majesty, apparently the doomstone is humongous, like giant, my lord. How big is giant? How huge is Hunormus? It shook the ground so hard upon impact that it was felt all the way in Port Puerto. We should have felt it here then. Fine, send a search party to investigate. Your Majesty, I know I need not remind you that the Elderwood is filled with wild beasts. If a powerful stone were to affect a large number of those uh, these beasts all at once, the Elderwood isn't even under my jurisdiction. Fine, Hughes, take whatever troops you need and uh, retrieve this doomstone. Soldier, come with me. So, yes, sir. And Sato and Butterfly, too. You two are seasoned pros by now when it comes to neutralizing and securing doomstones. Also, keep an eye on Hughes, will you? He's very important to our goal here. So, yes, sir. A fine, soldierly, yet butterfly or fluttery response. Beware the Elderwood. It is very just. Beware. Is there something we should know? No, go now. Give Hughes any assistance he needs. And be careful. Come back to us in one piece. Well, two pieces. One piece each. One whole piece each. Let's go, Satu. Wait, Satu. What is it, Laura? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to wish you good luck. I'm going with you. Um, thanks. Er, are you allowed to? Oh, you're welcome. So, so welcome. Father doesn't need to know. Bring me back a souvenir if you find something nice. Let me change. I'll meet you outside the castle. Now go on. I'll see you when you get back. Don't you dare leave without me. Yes, let's go. Oh, hey, Ophelia. I'm Satu, a moment before you go. Are you okay, Queen Ophelia? I am no more troubled than I should be to hear of a doomstone landing in the Elderwood. Well, we were just on our way there now to see if we can recover the stone before anything happens. The Elderwood is a special place. It forms a border between the human world and the spirit world. Most humans are barred from entering certain parts of the Elderwood. It is a mysterious realm of creatures and spirits that can be very befuddling to one with a close mi uh, closed mind. The king sounded like he wanted to tell us something about it, but he stopped himself. I don't know. Maybe I just imagined that. I doubt it. Eric is very fond of you. He wouldn't want anything to happen to the two of you. But what exists in some parts of the Elderwood can be very difficult to explain. If anyone can find the treasure bestowed upon the spirits there, I believe it is you two. Treasures bestowed upon the spirits? Do you mean the fourth goddess treasure? It is in the Elderwood? I cannot be certain, but I have a feeling that yes, that is the case. No kidding? The Elderwood is where we're headed now, and the fourth treasure may be there. How convenient. The deepest part, ruled by Denuta, is considered to be the fourth kingdom of legend, yes. What's a Denuta? Denuta is the great spirit. If Denuta is guarding the treasure, no ordinary person will ever see it. It is impossible to reach, uh, e to even reach an audience with Denuta without the blessing of the spirits. Her Highness, why are you telling us all, the, uh, all of this? I have something to ask you. When you meet the children of the forest, please give them this letter. It is very important to me. Obtained Ophelia's letter. The, uh, this forest has children. You'll know them when you see them. To the great spirit Denuta, forgive me going against the ban on humans entering your forests. However, I feel an exception must be made in this case. 
Please treat these two as you would your own. Our children desperately need your help. All of our children. Always in your deepest friendship, Ophelia. I can only hope this letter will serve your purpose. The forest is a beautiful place, but it has all a way of swallowing up certain individuals forever. The forest has its own life within it. If you should become lost, let the spirit tree guide you. And where would we find? Uh, where do you f we find this spirit tree? It is an ancient tree within the heart of the forest. Find the sacred place deep within the forest and take a right. You can't miss it. I believe you will find. Uh, I believe you will find any help you seek beneath its leafy branches. Go deep in the forest, find the sacred place, take a right. Sounds good. Please do be careful. The deep elderwood is an especially unforgiving place. I ask to. Uh, I ask you to protect Laura with your own life. Uh, what do you mean, Laura is here in the castle? I can read my daughter like a book. There would be no way to hold her back from this adventure. In fact, I bet you are keeping her waiting right now. Is that correct? Wow, you're good. I do my best. Farewell. May the spirits protect you. Let's go. Bye, Ophelia. Mm, Satu, what took you so long? Oh, hey, it's the Gerboy. Let's get going. By the time we get there, that doomstone is going to be a pearl. Sorry, Laura, we were just getting some final bits of advice on how to navigate the forest. Oh, don't let anyone scare you. Yeah, the forest is full of monsters, but they're cool monsters. What do you mean by that? Once you get deep in the forest, there are bears with razor-sharp fangs and trees that attack you. That sounds horrible. Horrible? You mean cool, don't you? <clears throat> I don't know about this. We might be in over our heads here. Pfft, we'll be fine. Don't worry, we can handle these monsters. Of course, if a doomstone energy gets to them. Yeah, what then? That doomstone might turn all of the creatures in the forest into evil shadow monsters. Well, we better get going and get that stone before it can do any damage. These doomstones really are giving the creatures uh, in nature a bad name. Even the so-called monsters, most of them are just big teddy bears. They wouldn't harm you even if you... Hmm? What's wrong, Laura? I got this weird image. Oh, hello, Kira. Wait a minute, that's Misa. Misa's not usually squeaky. My housemate's cat has come to say hello. Hey, baby girl. A uh, weird image in my mind. I think it has something to do with what mother, s mother said about the Elderwood. It just came and went, kind of like a deja vu thing. Well, if it's important, it'll come up later. It's not like it won't. Let's get going. Laura joined your party. Into the Elderwood. I really don't have a faster way of getting there than flying. Oh, it dropped me off right outside of a another conversation point. This is pretty much where the Elderwood starts. Woodcutters come here to chop lumber. Others come to gather nuts and mushrooms. But everyone pretty much sticks to the outer fridges. Uh, fringes. Because it gets more dangerous the deeper you go. Well, I guess that means we're going in, eh? Hughes should be ahead of us. We'll see. Let's go find that doomstone. If I had to guess, it's probably in the deep Elderwood. Oh, hey, look. It's Butch and Pierre. Bro, what's gotten into you? Rar rar, you're acting crazy. It's Pierre and Butch. Let's go find out what they're up to. Must find the Doomstone. What is going on here? You gotta help us, kid. My bro is acting nuttier than a squirrel in autumn. What else is new? Did he get his hair cut? Like before and er, or after he started talking strangely? Hey now, that was uncalled for, or that that was uncalled for. I cut my bro's hair myself. Butch, hold your tongue regarding the origins of my quaff. Bro, you're back to normal. Oh, happy days. Gingery brain, there's nothing wrong with me. As for my hairstyle, if you look closely, you'll see that uh, when shaped with my beard, it resembles a crescent. We must, uh, we are just model citizens here to pick mushrooms and collect litter. Why is he talking like that? He's been doing this ever since we ran into her. We've seen this before. If you have any mushroom picking or litter collecting needs, just call upon Pierre and Butch. Or Pierre and Butch. Oh, now he's talking normally again, kind of. Uh, what are you all doing here? Don't you know that there's a uh, there's a doomstone fallen in the forest? And of course, now the forest is full of paladins trampling all over everything and getting in the way. Getting in the way of what? 
Who's getting in the way? I meant they're doing a fine job. He's doing it again. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Butch said, oh, whoa. Well, I'm afraid we are very busy right now. No time to chat. Enjoy your stroll through the forest. Good day. Hey, bro, wait up. Rawr, you jerk. Well, that was beyond bizarre. It certainly was. I don't like seeing those fellows here. But we have more important things to investigate. Let's go see if we can catch up to Hughes and his paladins. Deeper into the forest we go. Oh, hey there. Professor Hughes is heading into the forest where all the scary animals are. I volunteered to stay here. Of course you did. I got an, uh... What are you two doing? Sorry about that, my housemate's cats are behaving strangely. I suppose it is midnight and cats be weird. Ah, the forest is so still and peaceful, except for all the monsters, of course. Indeed. Oh, hey, look, it's Hughes, here to stop me again. Can I not just make progress? Isn't that Hughes over there? Looks like he's got something. Most interesting, how could this have gone unnoticed all this time? What is it, sir? This monument is composed of the same material, uh, material as Celeste's goddess statues. Or Castell's got a statues. I wonder if anybody knows that her name is Celeste. I mean, I do, but I beat the game and the DLC. Perhaps there are other artifacts of this type in the forest. If so, that would mean... We must press onward. I'm not satisfied with simple conjectures. And turn back now. Gulp. Uh, did you hear that voice? I think it's Pino. His name is Pino. I didn't read that. I didn't say nothing. That double negatives means that you did say something then? You may not pass. Okay. Who are you? Identify yourself. This is your warning, humans. The forest dwellers abide by the oath. Long ago, Castellians also swore an oath to never enter our forest. What? I swore no such oath. This oath was sworn before the spirits. Take us to these spirits. I suggest you leave now or face the forest's wrath. We will do no such thing. We are here on a research expedition ordered by King Eric himself. King Eric does not rule here. Consider yourselves warned, humans. Come back. Hey, don't you disappear into thin air on me. Well, that was foreboding. It was. I've actually been through here a couple times. Vital weed. What do you think was up with the funny little spirit? I mean, should we really be doing this? It sounds like we might be trespassing or something, or on something sacred here. But at the same time, we have to find the Doomstone. I'm not afraid to admit I am afraid. It looks pretty scary in there. Don't worry, Butterfly, I'm the one doing all the combat. Wait, the Queen's letter. Do you think that little guy was one of the forest dwellers? Why am I the only one talking? Sorry, Butterfly, I'm just thinking. Something the little guy said. What is it, Laura? Again, it is like a hazy memory. I'm not sure if it really happened or if it was a dream. But I have this little image of my mother telling me something. I must have been a little girl. What, do you, what did the queen say? One must pay respect to the forest dwellers if one wishes to enter the other wood. Listen for the voice of the spirits, and they shall guide you. For they are sworn to help you, for they are bound by an ancient oath. I think that's how it went. Listen for the voices of the spirits. I think we need to go deeper in the f woods. That's where we will hear the voices of the spirits. I'm terrified, but I'm right behind you, Laura. Your mother told us that she thinks that the last goddess treasure is hidden somewhere in the Elderwood. Really? Yes. She told us we were going to meet you. Uh, yeah, she told us as we were going to meet you, but she knew you were coming with us, by the way. Of course she did. So then the final treasure must be guarded not by humans, but by spirits. Perhaps these spirits will guide us to the treasure. With their voices? I don't know if it's that simple, but we have to try. Wow, so much stopping for dialogue. I'm going to end this here. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and fizzity farewell.